Hey everybody, Jeremy here with another Practical IT video. In this video we're going to look at upgrading Proxmox Backup Server from 2.4.2 to the latest 3.0 version. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that the instructions say to do, and I've sort of built my own set of instructions from the official stuff so I can push through this a little bit quicker. So the first thing they're asking us to do is navigate to administration, storage slash disks, and get the names of the data stores. In my case, Actually, under data store, we've got big 750 and my store. Okay, so an optional step that they suggest is to enable maintenance mode. If you have multiple data stores, you will want to disable them all. And so to do that, we are going to go back to dashboard and actually to administration and shell and we are going to do proxmox backup manager data store update my store double dash maintenance mode read only and then we're going to do the same thing for big 750. Okay, we're going to do apt update, apt dist upgrade. So now we're going to do a sed command sed uh, space hyphen i space and in single quotes s slash bullseye slash bookworm slash g end single quote space slash etsy slash apt slash sources dot list and basically what this is doing is it's replacing all instances of bullseye with bookworm. Okay. Now, since we are in a non-subscription, we're going to verify the sources.list. Uh, nano Etsy apt sources.list. And we want it to have bookworm main contrib. Bookworm updates with a hyphen main contrib and then Debian security bookworm security main contrib. And then the last one is the Proxmox backup server, no subscription, which is good. Okay. So we're going to do apt update again. Apt dist upgrade dash Y. And this is going to take a few minutes to go through all of the updates. Okay. And the recommended answers for the questions. Uh, first one is about Etsy issue. It suggests answering no, which is the default. Restart services during package updates without asking. Yes. Okay, and this is for the 
PBS Enterprise list. We're not going to worry about that. Default is no, since we're on a no subscription version. Okay. And we appear to be all set. We're going to do system cuddle reboot. And we're going to jump back into the shell and we are going to come back to our data stores and we're going to say delete maintenance mode and we're going to repeat that for my store and so with that we have version 3.0.1 of Proxmox backup server running. If we log out, we should see there's no nag screen, which is great. So on the surface, it doesn't appear that a whole lot has changed. But again, as with Proxmox virtual environment, you'll want to check the change log and address anything that pertains to your specific setup that you may need to look at. So, in my case, we've still got 65.94% of the big disk used. And on my store, which is the remainder of the boot disk, practically nothing has been used. So, and there's our content showing up. So everything seems to be in good order here on the Proxmox backup server. And we're ready to continue backing up our VMs and keep things moving forward thank you all for watching i hope this helps some of you out there get upgraded from proxmox backup server 2.4.2 to the latest 3.0-1 version and if you haven't done so already please take a moment to like and subscribe it doesn't cost you a thing it does help the channel out Thanks once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.